Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Fallout New Vegas. We're going to continue our journey to Jacobstown. I was hoping to get it done in the last episode, but I got raped by Cazador, so that kind of put that on hold. Did I? I think I want to put stim bags as down. I did that already. Good. I need to be able to quick heal, um, because getting destroyed by Cazadors is not a good thing. Please don't tell me this is a dead end. Uh, it looks like a dead end. Son of a bee, dude. Son of a bee. We're still a ways away. This is the one issue I have with Fallout. Is that they put... Like, I love that it's open world. But when you make something open world, you gotta make it so you can move faster than this. Okay, friendly. She's friendly. Okay. But you gotta make it so that your players can do this and not spend more time walking to destinations than actually playing your game. I'm just gonna t Yes, man! Okay, this was actually good. We had to come here anyway, so... Uh, actually worked out well. I'm trying to figure out, can we go or... We need to get around this big mountain. Now I'm hoping... Oh, this is not good. This is not good. I don't know how to get to Jacobstown, dude. Okay, I can't even walk around over there. This is horrible. Oh, this is this is going to be bad fall. Oh, okay, maybe not. Actually did a decent job sliding there. I need to get that way, so I get... Oh god, this is going to be a long fall. Oh, I actually didn't take that much damage. Oh, this is horrible. I need to go that way, dude. Fuck you, Jacobstown. Nope, nope, nope. Couldn't be so lucky. Dude. Dude, Jacobstown, how the hell do I get to you? You know what, screw it, screw it, forget it, forget you, Jacobstown, forget it, forget it, we'll probably come back to it, but that's just frustrating, I hate when, like, why would you make the mountains unpassable at this point? Don't you know people probably will head this way to get to Jacobstown? Like, you can't make major areas like that. And have them be annoying to get to. It's like in a crater. Well, that's all I remember. And it's annoying is all I can remember. And I don't really think since Rex isn't going to die. He's just going to go unconscious. And he's just going to have some brain farts every once in a while. Bodyguards for hire. You could do worse than leave your life. Okay. Where? No, not that way. I think it's over here. We got that stupid giant rat that way. Trying to get back to the freaking regular Vegas strip is... It's crazy. I do need to, uh... Make contact with the, whatchamacallit, the Brotherhood of Steel. And I gotta make contact with the Boomers at Nellis Air Force Base. Is he not gonna... I thought, I thought for sure he'd go after the giant rat. I am, though. Yeah. Yeah, die, giant rat. Yeah, kids, stop playing with the giant rat. Do something with your lives. Stop running after it. I wonder if it's the same giant rat they run after every single second of every day of this game. I think if someone did that in real life, they'd just chase giant rats around. That would be a joke. Like, they'd be a joke. 
Uh, son of a bitch, where am I now? Dude, I just want to get to Vegas. I just want to get to the Vegas Strip. I just want to go to the Strip. This is ridiculous. The frustration, the Nick rage. Here we go. Welcome to the strip. We're in. We're here. Fuck Freeside. Why did I just get 12 experience? What did he go kill? A rat? Rex doing work for me. Rex is doing some good work. Alright, back to Yes Man we go. And then I might as well, I guess, should just go to... Yeah, you know what? I changed my mind. We are going to head to Nellis Air Force Base. Should we head to there? Brotherhood of Steel is down here. Let's go Brotherhood of Steel first. Let's go to the Repcon, and we'll head north to the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, shit. Okay, Rex. One shot's a ghoul. Uh, we just got... There's just ghouls all over the place here. They the rejects that... Damn it, dude. I'm gonna have to go around... <sighs> so sick of this game. And having shit blocked off. Like this. Like... Why on... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go to Gibson Scrapyard. I think this is gonna work out better. This is crazy. That I keep going to areas that you have to go around like a crazy amount of distance to get to from point A to point B. Like, I don't even get it. I honestly just do not get why this game does stuff like that. Okay, so... Oh my god, there's more mountains, dude. 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 There's just mountains everywhere. It's just shit I can't get around, man. I need to go this way anyway, but look at that! There's a giant rock formation right there. Son of a bee, dude. Son of a bitch. Like, what? Like, how am I supposed to go... ...anywhere when you block half the shit off with rocks? I think this is a house that a lot of people use. Uh, because I think it has, like, a workbench and a couple other things in it. Uh, no, maybe it's not. The one that I'm thinking of has a point that you can teleport. You can fast travel to it. Oh! I'm spending... This is when this... This is the one thing I've said... I know, I think I've said it a million times, but... The really big thing that frustrates me with Fallout, because I've spent more time in the last episodes just walking around. I haven't made any progress. I haven't done anything. I've just been walking around the wasteland... And because of rock formations, such as this one, like, look at this, dude. You can't get through it. They literally just give you the big middle finger and say, oh, well, find another fucking way to get there. Like, this seriously, this is more rage-inducing than dying. Like, I hate when games just waste your time because they can. Like, I want to play your game, I want to have fun. I'm okay with playing it for a decent amount of time, but don't do stupid stuff like, like, block shit off. And what the hell did I just see? What the hell am I seeing? You know, let's just keep going. Thank God that there's this path thing. I don't even know what to call it. F you guys. Rex, you distract them. I'm just gonna, you know, run for it. Oh, look, it's a giant rat scorpion. 
Oh my gosh, Rex wrecks them. Rex wrecks them. Oh my gosh. Rex is too OP. I say I say is too OP way too much. But Rex is literally OP. Look at how little damage I do. What is blocking me? Oh my god, I'm getting hit by scorpions. I'm poisoned. Rex is unconscious. We're running. Haul ass! Just haul ass! The scorpions are faster than me. Just go. Just go. Oh my god. So many scorpions. Just go. Just go. Just go. Nope. Nope. This is worse than the Cazadors. This is worse than the Cazadors. Oh my god. There's so many of them. Can I get through over there? It doesn't almost look like... I think I can, but I'm not sure. It doesn't almost look like I can. <laughs> How many are chasing me? None. Woo! They stopped chasing me. Thank God. Hidden, we found a hidden valley. And I'm sneezing. I'm sneezing. Oh my God, rad scorpions, leave me alone. What is this? This is the Brotherhood of Steel area. I remember this area. I don't even think I'm going to talk to people. We're just going to go to the areas until it says, hey, yes, man. Door to Hidden Valley Bunker. All right, let's go in here. Okay. Hey, open suitcase. Nope. I can pick the lock. No, what the hell? There, there, there we go. There we go. Oh, hey, it's a... Okay, well, I guess that was free experience. That's about it. That's all that's out here is some... random BS. I need to level up again so I can get my... I need to level up two more times. That sounds crazy, but I need... What is Rex? Rex, what are you doing? Buddy. Buddy, what are you doing? Alright, let's go back outside. I don't know what Rex is growling at. Danger! Rex, uh, Rex, go kill. Go kill those. Looking for the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, Brotherhood of Steel. Where are you? I think they're over at this bunker? I think? Well, there's not a bunker here. Where's the other? There's another bunker, I know that. Here it is. Is it gonna let me go? There we go. Alright. Rex is almost dead. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not hostile. I'll put my gun away. Listen very closely and do as I say. Your life depends on it. And over everything you're carrying. Weapons, ammo, clothes, armor, everything. I want you stripped down to your underwear. Hell no! Yeah, I'm not handing my shit over to you and your tin can friends. You don't seem to understand how close you are to being erased from existence. Will you I think or I will do. you not comply? No, fuck you. We're gonna get raped. Makes things simple for us. I'm gonna get reamed. I'm gonna get reamed. Oh my god. Yep, the, the reamage is about to be real. Bitch, come here. Come here! Oh, why is why is my chest hit your head so low? My my hurt? What? Okay, let's use a doctor's bag. I don't know why my chances to hit her so low. Oh, look at that damage to the head! Oh my god, this dude! That dude just came in. Oh god! Oh my god, there's so many of them! 
Oh shit! Well, that's kind of that's kind of crazy. They thought their two guys could handle me, and they couldn't. So they set out the whole. They set out four. All right. Find out more about the White Glove Society. Is this optional to talk to all these guys? No, I actually have to make content. Okay, like I talked to these guys. I don't think I need to actually dick around with that. We're good. We're good. We're out of here. Fuck you, Brotherhood of Steel. You guys were much better in Fallout 3. You guys were much nicer. I even helped you guys accomplish the game and beat the game. But now you guys are just some assholes. You guys are some douche McGrubers. Alright, so now we need to go to Nellis Air Force Base. Where is the best spawn point? I think it's Cannibal Johnson's Cave. Actually, I think it's Freeside's North Gate. Maybe. There's an enemy nearby. Really? Really? Thank you. There's still an enemy. There we go. We can fast travel now. Let's see if this is the right place. This is a whole lot of... These are two really... I'm sorry for today's uploads. They're two real retarded episodes. There isn't much... Isn't much success going on right now. Alright, let's go. So I've been thinking about doing like, you know, the, uh, doing maybe like The Walking Dead or uh, Game of Thrones, Telltale, Telltale Games. I played a little bit of the Game of Thrones ones, but I think I might start them over and play those. Uh, they seem kind of, they seem like they'd be a lot of fun uh, to let's play. Also, I thought about maybe doing, uh... Uh, Gears of War Ultimate Edition beta hype and play like Gears 3 or something. Uh, I think I might do Bioshock Infinite. I missed that game. I really want to play it. I, I guess this is just the summer. You know, see see the interest level in my channel, which I'm actually pretty happy. We're, I'm getting around 50 views a video, which uh, if you think about it, if I upload five videos a day, that's 250 views. Uh, my Madden videos got anywhere from like 200 to 2,000 views, but... Uh, they averaged the daily ones that weren't anything special average like 200 views so really I'm actually getting more people look at the views and they're like oh hey you're not getting the views you used to um, mostly because I changed the direction of my channel but I mean when you're on YouTube for this long people change directions of their channels all the time uh, some of the guys that I followed some of them were Call of Duty then they were Let's Plays then they were I don't know Gears or something, and then they were Grand Theft Auto, and then they were DayZ, and then they're like back to Call of Duty, then they're like back to Let's Plays, and people change the directions of their channels all the time. I just don't have as many subscribers as most of those guys. I have like no subscribers, let's be honest. 7k subscribers is not that many. Um, and a lot of them are dead subscribers, like a lot. Like, I'd say, like, two or 3,000 of my subscribers are just dead. They just, they aren't accounts people use anymore, or they're accounts that people just stop. They don't watch YouTube videos anymore. Maybe they stop playing Xbox or PS3 or whatever. Or not PS3, but PlayStation. They just stop playing video games. I have a lot of those people subscribe to me. Hey, look, it didn't take long to get to Nellis Air Force Base. Oh, God, I forgot they shoot crap at me. Run! Rex, I'll s oh god, Rex, I'll see you at the at the base. Oh god, this is going horribly. This is going horribly. Can I open up my? There we go. Okay. We need to not be crippled anymore. Heal up, heal up. Let's go. Let's go. I gotta get it across. Stop shooting, you Jamaican ass weeds. I don't think they can hit me anymore, thank god. Now I get to go to the actual entrance to this place. This is kind of crazy that you can just not do anything to deal with anybody else. You can just kind of avoid people. Eh, I don't really want to talk to the White Glove Society, so I'm not going to. Hello? 
Hold it right there. Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? Simple enough. Run, hide, run. It's all in the timing. But I had you zeroed in the whole time. Nobody's that fast. I'm that fast. Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. Do you really think I'm scared of a punk like you? Watch your mouth, Savage. Raquel will be here any second. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. Alright, lead the way. Follow close, and mind your behavior. Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. How might, uh... Uh, you didn't exactly roll out a red carpet. Those howitzers of ours aren't just for entertainment, child. Explosive ordnance is what keeps the savages at a distance. Except you. There's something special about you, child. And it was the howitzers that gave you a chance to show it. Uh, how might I be of assistance? Oh, so many ways. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sav uh, outsider around and about. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. How can we trust each other if you're going to keep if you're going to be keeping secrets? You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion has kept us safe, but the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance, patrolling robots, soldiers. My youngers think our guns can keep out the world, but I think we need to let it in just a little. Or become its victim. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. Uh, where do I start? You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Or you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Come and go as you like, help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. Hey. Hey. Hey, Boomer. Alright, so I could steal. I'll Boomer around Nellis. Return to Yellow's man and tell him that <laughs> this is crazy. I was gonna go back to Yes Man. We're it's me and Yes Man. We're taking over this strip all by ourselves. It's me and Yes Man against the world and our army of robots. I'm just gonna be the king or the queen. I guess I'm a queen. I am just gonna be the queen all by myself. I'll have my robot subjects. And we'll rule the wasteland. Alright guys, though, I think that's going to do it for uh, this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. In the next one, we'll be going and having a lot of dialogue with Yes Man, I think. So I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.